Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and breaking news, haters gonna hate. Here's the headline from crypto media outlet, You Today. Unattractive and overhyped question mark, which is why my voice goes up like that to indicate a question. Peter Brandt compares XRP to Ford's flop car, Edsel. And indeed, the Ford Edsel was the, I guess, arguably the greatest failure in Ford's history. And I look at cars from that era, and um, I don't know, some of them look kind of similar. So apparently this car, I'll pull up a picture of it in this video, but uh, some people say it was particularly ugly. And to me, I don't know, some cars from the era look cool, but uh, it looks kind of just like a car from the era. I'm like, yeah, they were kind of ugly back then. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's, it's very subjective, though. Maybe a bunch of you out there listening just love them. That's, that's perfectly fine. But uh, I'm going to run through this. I also have this story. Uh, from Daily Hodl, Ripple pushing to create global ecosystem around crypto asset XRP through Spring Initiative. Indeed, Ripple continues to be the greatest cheerleader for the XRP ecosystem. So the question ultimately is, is XRP overhyped or perhaps not hyped enough? Well, we will get to the bottom of it. But before we go any further, if you would please delicately tap that like button, I would certainly appreciate it. If you do, it will tell the... Uh, the uh, artificial intelligence that is the YouTube algorithm to push my video out onto other unsuspecting victims. And also go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel. Don't cost nothing, man. Take my free product. Do you guys remember this piece? Uh, this was from June 5th. This guy just won't quit. And so here's the headline. This is from two months ago. I just, I gotta give you guys a little refresher. Veteran trader Peter Brandt says XRP is manipulated scam. And, uh... Yeah, so it, it it always leads me back back to this. And this is the serious big question. Like, clearly, he has a major problem with XRP. And so I just want to, like, I just want to know, like, Peter, like, wh what, what did XRP do to you? Did XRP break your heart? Did XRP move on from you? Well, I'll tell you what. There's going to be another crypto out there just for you. It's probably Bitcoin. Who knows? Are you in the friend zone? I don't know, man. You're going to figure it out, though. Like, there's definitely another crypto out there for you, but you don't got to be all salty about XRP just because XRP has moved on. I'm telling you, man, there's a lot of cryptos in the sea. And so here's what he tweeted out. To, <laughs> well, it was in response to somebody asking, okay, basically, somebody's basically asking, why isn't XRP essentially worth nothing? Like, 0. 0.0000, a bunch of zeros, one, three yet, LOL. Uh, to, to which Peter Brandt responded, patience, please. It will come xrp is manipulated scam which is almost a complete sentence but you know what i'll forgive that it's the twitter format but um manipulated scam huh? manipulated scam i want to know how is it that this manipulated scam how are all these major corporations falling victim like for instance moneygram which is utilizing xrp as a bridge currency today this very second flows are moving around the planet from MoneyGram, which is a notable company. How have they fallen victim to this scam? How is it that, that given his stance that Ripple is uh, perpetrating this scam, how is it that over 40 central banks around the world are currently today working with Ripple? Could it be instead that it, it's not the case that MoneyGram and all the other on-demand liquidity partners and RippleNet partners and central banks working with Ripple, could it be instead that they're... Uh, having the wool pulled over the, their eyes. Could it be that instead of them being scammed, that Peter Brandt just doesn't know what the hell he's talking about? Perhaps, again, XRP broke his heart. It has that, give me another reason. What's the reason somebody's going to say this nonsense? Okay, fine. In reality, it's pure ideology. That's what this always comes down to. But I want to tell you something. As far as XRP is concerned, look, there is no central authority. There, there, you know, Ripple doesn't have any special permissions over the ledger. But I want to tell you something further, because I understand that there's a concentration of XRP. But a lot of people in the world of crypto, especially early Bitcoiners, uh, some of them, sure, they have the down with banks, down with government mindset. But a lot of them, for some reason, just want to decentralize everything. And to me, that's a step too far, because... You know, humans have evolved to trust others, and I understand that there are bad actors out there. I get all of that, but it, it makes sense to have trust in, you know, your family. I mean, in, 
I'm not speaking specifically about you. Maybe you got some messed up family, in which case don't have trust in them. But I'm saying generally, generally speaking, it makes sense to have trust in your family and your friends and your employer. Like not, not everybody's out to get you. Yes, there's bad actors at time, at times, but I don't have a problem with a, a, a you know a, a um, an actor like Ripple, which is a as Galgatron, an XRP community member, put it, a benevolent whale. I don't have an issue with them holding a bunch of XRP as long as they act. Uh, in favorable towards the XRP community. And the moment they stop that, I'm sure me, along with everybody else in the XRP community, including all the other YouTubers, are going to call them out. But they're not doing that. And they have the greatest incentive on the planet to not take advantage of people that are speculated right now because that would harm them. They're the greatest stakeholders of XRP. So to me, it's perfectly reasonable to have trust in others. I don't want to live in a world where I literally can't trust anybody. And so when you talk about manipulation here, I mean, yeah, it's certainly true that uh, XRP is is doing what it can because like they're buying and selling XRP depending on the amount of liquidity, but it's completely transparent. So to frame it as some sort of manipulated scam doesn't just miss the mark. It's either you'd have to either be disingenuous to say that intellectually dishonest are completely ignorant and neither of those two things are good. So which is it, Peter Brandt? You tell me. Oh, I mean, again, our third option three, XRP just broke your heart and you haven't moved on. I understand that. That could be a serious thing. You know, I understand. Like, people get attached, right? So it's silly. So on to what he said in this one. Unattractive and overhyped, Peter Brandt compares XRP to Ford's flop car Edsel. XRP, the cryptocurrency associated with blockchain company Ripple, continues to face harsh criticism from unapologetic commodity trading veteran Peter Brandt. In a recent tweet, he drew a hilarious comparison. <laughs> You're going to get three to four chuckles out of that. A hilarious comparison between the struggling token and Edsel, Ford's most famous flop car. I don't know why they think that's hilarious. Like, it didn't... I, it's, I wasn't mad about it. I was just neutral about it. It didn't get a single chuckle out of me. And... Uh, and so that's a good measure. You know, if it's a, if it's something at least mildly funny, you got to get two to four chuckles out of the thing here. And to, to, to call the XRP token struggling, my gosh, it's up. Um, actually, I haven't checked today. Uh, well, I did earlier. I just can't remember what it was. But, uh, you know, yesterday, XRP was up over the last 30 day period, like what, somewhere in the neighborhood of 45 percent. I'm sorry. What's struggling? Bitcoin only up 27 percent over the same time period, something like that. Mm, I don't like how that's being framed. Um, completely nonsensical. And so is, is, um, and here's what he wrote. Let me pull up the actual tweet or where, oh, oh, maybe they didn't have the actual screen grab of it, but it, it ultimately, I, re- I could have sworn it was in this thing. Am I just blind? Damn. I thought I had this pulled up here. Well, regardless, he, I, I'm sorry guys. I look, I, I, I map these things out and then I, uh, usually take a break for like a few hours at least and then come back to it and then record my content for the day. And I thought I had it lined up here. I apologize. Uh, well, regardless, the, the point is he he compared he compared XRP to, to Edsel. That's pretty much it. It was like several words. That was pretty much it. And um, because Edsel being a, a major failure. And here's a picture of the damn thing. So you can tell me if you're not driving, feel free to take a look at your screen. That's what the thing looks like. To me, it just looks like a, it looks like a car of the era. So I'm just like, OK, I'm not like to me, it doesn't do anything particular for me. I know I'm sure some people listening and like just love this style. Uh, and that's fine, you know. It's like I said, it's completely subjective here. I don't think it's horrendous looking, but uh, wh- whatever. Um, so, so the question being, of course, in the end, is XRP actually overhyped, just like the Ford Edsel was? Because people are saying that it was overpriced, uh, that it was ugly. I mean, here I even pulled up an article. I was just kind of curious. I was looking at this a little bit earlier. Uh, I think it was right down here. Yeah, ugly, o- overpriced, overhyped, poorly made, and poorly timed. The Edsel was made for only two years. And it started at $2,500 uh, and topped out around $3,800. Interesting, right? So for the times, it was just not what the people were looking for. So is XRP overhyped? Well, I'll say this. There are certainly some people, even within our beloved little community here, and I understand, I get it, we all get a little jazzed up from time to time, a little yeehaw about stuff, but uh, yeah, it's, it's fair to say it, within this community, as well as pretty much every other crypto community, Bitcoin, Ethereum, pick your coin, there's, there's going to be a little bit of hype, yeah. In some cases, a lot of hype, but um, is it is XRP overhyped? Is it not hyped enough? 
Well, it kind of depends on who you're listening to. So I, I mostly disregard the, the hypey type stuff because I'm, I proudly run this channel as a non-hype channel. I will tell you the negative along with the positive as I see it. Because think about it. If you're invested in XRP, do you really want your head in the sand if this thing's going to go south? Do you really not want to know? Do you just want to pretend it's all you know, puppies and rainbows and ice cream and Skittles and all that crap? I personally don't. If something bad is coming, I want to know about it. And I hope others will help to make me aware of it if I don't catch it first. Uh, but is it overhyped? Look, I think that, and look, to be, oh, I should say this too. I am not a, fi I don't have a financial background, not a financial professional, not offering financial advice of any kind. Don't buy or sell because of me, but I will share my opinion, which is just an everyday Joe Schmo opinion here, which is that XRP in all likelihood will be worth substantially more than it is today. And so that's why for me, even though I proudly state that this is a non-hype channel, just to the outsider listening in, uh, just stating where I believe potentially this could all go, even though I, I don't make price predictions and I never will. I believe that it'll, it's going to at some point smash through its all-time high, which is damn near $4. A lot of that has to do with market cycles, but also utility, I think, will ultimately win the day. And that's my, the primary uh, thesis for me investing in this, right? But, uh, it, you know, I, it's, it's for me, it's, I can understand, like, saying stuff like that. If you're an outsider, you might, sign, you might think, like, that sounds hypey. But to me, that's just my honest general opinion. I'm no, there's no intent to hype it. I just think it's going to be worth substantially more. And so when we talk about it like that, to me, that's just, like, my honest analysis of the situation. Um, you know, as far as it being overhyped, there are some people that can overhype just about anything. But generally speaking, I think the XRP community is pretty damn level-headed. You know, because we're not here for ideological reasons. We see it a genuine opportunity. I think most of us feel like we found this before the rest of the world because less than 1% of humans on the planet own Bitcoin and even fewer know about XRP. So I get it. Like, to me, that's, that's certainly what it seems like being in the XRP community now for almost three years. That's exactly what it looks like to me. And I'm going to be sticking around. I ain't going anywhere here. But uh, so, no, I, I wouldn't say it's overhyped. I'd say that some people can overhype it. I don't think that it's, it's actually uh, across the board overhyped by the community. And uh, is it underhyped? No, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think that either. Um, I, I think it's I think it's sufficiently covered, generally speaking, by the XRP community. So you can tell me what you think. Um, on to the next piece now. Ripple pushing to create global ecosystem around crypto asset XRP through spring initiative. Ripple's new job opening suggests it is expanding the global reach and use of its native cryptocurrency XRP. It's not its native cryptocurrency daily hodl. It's just a decentralized cryptocurrency. Damn it. Get your facts straight before you write stuff on the web and nets. The San Francisco-based startup is looking for a senior product manager that will be part of the developer services of Ripple subsidiary Spring. According to the job post, the successful candidate will work as the head of the company's Spring division in a push to give developers the tools and services they need to incorporate blockchain payments into apps. And so regardless of price action, and I know it's been looking good lately, Ripple just, they just keep building. You know, they're not focused on the price of XRP. Now, of course, you need to have a sufficient blend of price and liquidity in order for on-demand liquidity to work. Absolutely, totally acknowledge that. But they believe that, and Brad Garlinghouse has even stated in the past, like people are going to speculate on pretty much anything. Crypto is no different, and it should not be any different. And ultimately, I think that they they have the same gut feeling as I, I do, I suspect, by and large, that there's going to be a substantial amount of money flowing into the space over the coming years and decades. And I just can't imagine that the asset class wouldn't at some point be valued in, in the multi-trillions. But uh, here's a quote from this piece. We are seeking an experienced product manager to helm the cross-functional team responsible for building a robust global developer ecosystem through Spring Developer Platform. In this role, you'll establish strong relationships with developers around the world in a scalable way by crafting amazing products to help developers build the internet of value. Our team works with the largest developer audience possible. We are engineers plus storytellers, representing Spring to communities all around the world, inspiring the creation of the future where money flows like data today. Indeed, that's what we're talking about, making it as easy to move money as it is to send a text or an email. That is the internet of value. That's Ripple's vision for it, broadly speaking. Um, also, shout out to XRP Crypto Wolf, who um, pointed out this. So Ripple's definitely clearly hiring, which is not a surprise. I mean, even Brad Garlinghouse was talking about, yeah, they're scaling back the degree to which they're hiring because of the pandemic, but they're still hiring, which is cool. You can see uh, XRP Crypto Wolf had the screen grab of the, the, uh, the job opportunity and wrote the following. Ripple is hiring a quantitative developer for institutional markets 
to build tools to monitor markets and liquidity for XRP as they scale their payment products into new markets around the world. The developer will help Ripple with dynamics for FX plus crypto markets based on data. And so all this ultimately is tying right back around to XRP, which I do not hate. I know what I hate, and I don't hate that. But that is it for this video. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Nambo!